And now we're going to go check out my friend and colleague, Jeff Semler. He's going to tell us all about the equipment and the technology that we use here on the farm. The modern farm uses a lot of different technology. The uh, old days of farming with horses are long gone. We use uh, great big tractors, uh, like to my right here, that's uh, certainly many horsepower. We're able to transfer that power to other machines that we use in the field. And uh, you may think of technology as your uh, cell phone or your Xbox. Um, what we use in our tractors, we have uh, uh, kind of, it looks like kind of a screen, a small television screen that will uh, operate our baler or maybe um, our fertilizer sprayer. And we can map out the field on that screen and know where we've covered and, and uh, how much crop we might expect off there. Uh, we have GPS, again, it helps us move through the fields uh, so we know where we've planted and where we, when we come back to harvest and know that this part of the field uh, produces more crop than another part of the field. Uh, so again, our technology is almost limitless today. A lot of the things we use um, on the farm, uh, you guys may uh, use in, in your homes or maybe even in your cars. Another thing that you might um, know about these machines are they're big. They're loud and they can be dangerous. As I like to tell my tractor safety kids, these are workhorses, not racehorses. Uh, we need to reuse the appropriate speed, the appropriate gears um, to get the job done, but do it safely. Because on the farm, we live where we work. And there's lots of um, inherent dangers for, for bystanders, whether it be your kid's sister or, uh, you know, the UPS man. Uh, we need to be careful. Uh, as we're moving on a working farm, we need to pay attention to what's moving around us. Uh, again, these machines might be pulling something. There's blind spots. Um, we have uh, there's the skid loader to my um, left. Again, is a machine that does a lot of work for us today. But imagine backing this up. You can't see a lot of things around you. So again, the inherent dangers of backing the, the skid loader up. And so as we're moving down the road, um, we're going to try to be safe and we need you to try to be safe. And so we really need to pay attention as we're following machines and know up front that they're not going to go as fast as an automobile can go. Remember that uh, what the machines that we pull behind these tractors are wide. Um, some things may be sharp. Again, think about it when you're um, riding home on the school bus, the school bus slows down and stops and everyone else stops. Um, and they move at an appropriate speed. We need to do the same thing when we're following tractors. We need to slow down a little bit. We need to give them space and, and keep uh, everyone safe. 